We're going to open up an SVG or DXF, whatever you're working in, in Inkscape. Uh, I'm going to lock the aspect ratio to make sure that any changes I make are equivalent in all directions. And you can double check before you laser cut any of your objects, your stroke paint, uh, depending on your application. Universal control panel takes certain colors and it likes a stroke width that is small. So we're going to go to extensions, export, win32 vector print. The dialog box will pop up and make sure you check your taskbar. I'm using birch three millimeter plywood. You can double check your settings in manual control. And then just roll down to your taskbar and select universal control panel. If you notice the object is way too small and we're going to need to fix this. So we're going to look at our one of our dimensions and we're going to change the aspect ratio of our drawing. So our original Y dimension was 300 millimeters and we're going to divide it by the, the new value and get our multiplier by multiplying by 100 so we have a percentage. I'm just going to copy that straight from the calculator and go back to Inkscape. I'll use my Transform tab, select everything with Control A, scale proportionally, and then I can just highlight the width or the height and change it since my percentage is going to be the same. Hit Apply and then give it a second to do its thing. And there you go, everything has been transformed by 378% or so. I'm going to go to Document Properties, make sure that I resize my page to drawing. And then uh, just to make sure everything's good, I'll go up to View, Zoom, and then I'm going to zoom into my drawing to make sure my that everything fits. Again, Extensions, Export, Win32, Vector, Print. Watch for that dialog box. Go back to your materials database and I'm going to select natural wood, birch, and it's at three millimeters. Apply OK. And then down at the taskbar, I'm going to reopen my universal control panel and give it a second. And there's my new cut. This looks a lot better. Just to double check my dimensions, I'm going to hover over and place the top corner in the origin. And then I'm going to select the bottom corner and make sure my dimensions meet up, and they do. So we've successfully scaled this.